My name is John Smithin, and I'm the executive co-director of the Aurora Philosophy Institute in Aurora, Ontario, Canada, and I'm Professor Emeritus and Senior Scholar at York University, Toronto. And it's an honor for me to be able to contribute these remarks to the Memorial uh, Conference for Professor Augusto Graziani, taking place at the University of Sanio from May 9th to May 10th, 2024. Now, Augusto Graziani was an international scholar of the first rank, the highest rank. And as you just said, and as I gather, a personal inspiration to all those who knew him well, um, such as yourselves. Well, this must have been at a conference um, in England in the early 1990s. I can't remember exactly when or where. It was probably in London or in Cambridge. What I do remember is being very impressed uh, by the paper that he gave and then having the good fortune to be seated next to him at the conference dinner, oh. which was great. And I learned, you know, a good deal uh, that evening. And it must have been around that time, Giuseppe, that I started to be in fairly close touch with you. Uh, and in fact, after that, it was from you uh, that I gained a much more detailed you know, understanding of, of, of Graziani's uh, theory. As for his writings, very important was a pamphlet he wrote in English around 1990, which was later published as a journal article. And this was called The Theory of the Monetary Circuit. Come to think of that, might have Philarestes might have been involved in that one too. Yes. Isn't? And then there was a short book length treatment in 2023, uh, the monetary theory of production. Um, and I would also like to mention a series of art articles he wrote for the journal Economic Notes, which is actually an uh, Italian journal published uh, in English. And that was starting in the 1980s. And in particular, I want to stress the article on Keynes' finance motive. Well, this is why I would put it. Like the theory of the monetary circuit and the notion of endogenous money in general is fundamental. It's absolutely fundamental for the correct understanding of the Keynesian and post-Keynesian approaches uh, to macroeconomics. And in particular, of course, I'm referring to the role of credit creation and hence money creation that is necessary for the generation of the monetary profits on which the whole system uh, depends. N now, uh, by the time I'd met Graziani, I was already familiar with the various French versions of circuit theory. Omar Hamouda and I had invited Bernard Schmidt to the Keynes and Public po Policy Conference in Toronto in 1986. And that was the 50th anniversary of Keynes general theory. And it was the 75th birthday of Keynes student and our York University colleague, the late Laurie Tarshish. Um, shortly afterwards, I got to know the late Alan Parguez. And I think actually it was at that conference that was the first time that I heard uh, Alan's name. In any event, Alan was a frequent visitor to Canada and to Ottawa, uh, you know, in particular. So when I encountered Graziani, that was a fresh approach to me, and I was struck in particular by the clarity of his exposition. Uh, uh, everything was crystal clear, you know, in, in, in the way that he put the things. And that helped me to further develop and solidify, um, if I can put it in that way, my own ideas on the topic, which before that was sort of a, a bit confused, if I, if I can put it that way. So clarity is the... Is, one of the hallmarks. Well, so I think that one of the most uh, important questions to be resolved is what are the differences between Graziani's approach and that of, say, Alain Pagès, uh, as an example. And maybe um, this is one of the issues that will be debated um, at your conference. If so, I'd be absolutely fascinated by the results that emerge, you know, from that. His ideas live on and are still important to us today. So, th so congratulations guys on organizing this conference and I'm sure it will go very well.